High Travel Inspire community. We are at the beginning of Rione Sanità. This street is called Via Vergini and um, I'm going to be showing you some graffiti commissioned by uh, Giuseppe Giovinetti. Giuseppe Giovinetti is a local uh, tradesman and uh, Giuseppe has an idea. He wants to open a wine bar in this side street called Vico Buongiorno. There is a signpost here, it says Ortofrutta, so it's the fruitmonger's signpost. And Giuseppe has taken over the fruitmonger's shop. So that's where the wine bar is going to be. So the first graffiti is the painting of a child. It's unclear whether it's a boy or a girl. And it looks to me a little bit like uh, an Indios, uh, some ancient uh, pre-Columbian uh, Mexican uh, Inca figure. The second graffiti is the graffiti of a girl, a woman with lipstick. It's as if uh, the artist not having the whole wall to paint on decided to paint a double mouth and double eyes, but another possible interpretation is that this figure, this woman, is a nun. You can see that on the top part of the graffiti, the hair is not actually the hair of a woman, but perhaps a veil, the veil of a nun. Thus, the double identity, the identity of a woman and the identity of a nun. And here is one of the local shrines dedicated to the Madonna or Jesus. One of the latest trends in Naples is to adopt a church. Some people bravely decide to create a cultural association of some kind and possibly even restore it and organize exhibitions and events. This church here is called Misericordiella and it has been adopted by a contemporary artist by the name of Christian Leporino. He is successfully organizing events in it. Someone decided to paint a graffiti on the side of the church which I'm going to show you presently. This is uh, the side of the church Misericordiella and this is a very naive graffiti. It's a Holy Mary with a black Jesus. The Holy, Holy Mary is holding Jesus and a little cherub or angel. Jesus is taking a sheet off the head of an angel who is saying hi, hi there and the title of a graffiti is Don't mix up ghosts and angels. So Christ is telling you there don't believe all ghosts are scary. They may actually be angels in disguise.